PyCharm. You've heard of this ID, but what version do I want? Where do I get it? And how do I install and start it? Well, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Paul Everett, JetBrains Developer Advocate, and welcome to our PyCharm Getting Started series. First, a housekeeping item. Gotta pay the bills, am I right? Our data shows that 80% of you haven't subscribed to our PyCharm channel. If you like this video and you wanna hear more about PyCharm, click the subscribe button and keep me employed. Now, maybe you've already installed PyCharm. Maybe you've already bought PyCharm. If so, this video isn't for you. Instead, click above to go to the video for starting your first project in PyCharm. In this video, we'll cover three things. Finding PyCharm and downloading it, installing the download and then the first run, and your first experience with the welcome screen. Let's start now. Been doing a lot of talking, time for some action. Let's find and download PyCharm Professional Edition, which we'll be using in this course. It has a free one month trial, but if you prefer, you can follow along with PyCharm Community Edition. Okay, so downloading PyCharm is as easy as clicking the download button. Then on the next screen, click on the download option that matches what you want. Your download begins in the background. That's it for finding and downloading PyCharm Professional. Next up, installing. This step will be fast because installing and launching PyCharm is easy and normal. Let's open up the file we just downloaded. The next steps will differ depending on the OS that you're on. If you're on Windows or Linux, you can look up OS specific instructions in our documentation. For example, on Mac OS, Head to your downloads folder and double click on the .dmg download file. In the pop-up, drag and drop PyCharm into your applications folder. That's it. We just went through the installation process and now we can start using PyCharm. PyCharm is downloaded, installed, it's now running. Let's start using it. We're on PyCharm's welcome screen. From this point, there are four main sections you can explore. Let's start with the Learn PyCharm tab. Here you can use the links to jump to documentation pages and other resources. And you can also enroll in the Interactive Features Trainer, designed to quickly teach you some of the productivity boosters in PyCharm. Next, the Plugins section. This lets you install some additional plugins like custom themes or key maps if you are coming from other editors or IDEs. Installing key maps makes your migration from other editors easier and painless. To search, just start typing key maps, for example. As you can see here, PyCharm starts listing available key maps for popular editors that are out there. Find the one that suits you best and just click to install it. The Customize section lets you tweak some of the most commonly used settings. Let's change our theme from Darkula to IntelliJ Lite and back. You can also sync with the OS if you prefer. If you had installed any key map or themes plugin, you would need to switch it here as well. And finally, the Projects tab. Here you can create, open, or clone projects to start working. Projects though, that's the topic of our next video. All right, with this, we've reached the end of our first episode. In this video, we learned how to download and install PyCharm and also went through what's available on the welcome screen. I hope this video was useful for you. In the next episode, we'll see how to start your first PyCharm project. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss any future updates. Also, feel free to leave any comments you have about the topics discussed and any topics you might want to see covered in future episodes. See you in the next video.